All right, update. <laughs> I was watching the previous thing, and there's some things that I noticed um, that I didn't talk about. One is I look kind of really stoned, and the reason is it isn't even, it's not the medicine or the anesthesia. It's just that literally I'm tired as hell. I didn't have, I haven't really slept, slept like two hours last night. So I'm waiting to take a nap. I'm waiting for Willa to get home because I don't want her to bing, bang, boom, wake me up. There's no point in me trying to sleep. Now, <clears throat> up thing. If I'm not talking or doing anything and I just let the saliva kind of slide down my throat, I can actually have a quiet kind of moment there. Uh, so, you know, I'm kind of exacerbating it by talking. Um... But that's all I wanted to say. Um, so, I just want to be clear to some things, you know, when I talk 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is like on a pain scale of 1 to 10, and this is what they do. They tell you stupidly, well, what do you got to tell us in order to let you go? Well, you got to tell us you're 2 or 3, so that's what I told them. I mean, we had to get home. Hella has an event now from a big event, uh, it's like titled, titled X, whatever. Um, and her job is huge, so I said, I'm a two or three, you know, when really I was a four or five, jumping up much higher than that. Um, so yeah, uh, I just wanted to kind of update on that, and, um, you know, I was going to answer the question that I forgot, because I had to swallow, and I forgot it again. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, so a couple other things, I haven't told you the context of this, why did I get the surgery? Well, I have sleep apnea uh, with concomitant snoring. Um, I got it for both, but I got it for, oh, I, I personally got it for the snoring because it's, it, it, it wakes the hell up and it's a big problem. So I, so I'm going to do this. Hopefully the idea is you cut the soft palate forward. This is the part I forgot about when I swallow it, you cut the palate forward and you cut all that stuff out and so, because what sleep apnea is, at some point you're breathing and then it all collapses and then you can't breathe and you go, you know, blah, blah, blah. Alternatively, snoring is when it gets close and it does this, you know. So hopefully by taking this stuff out and moving this stuff forward, the back wall and the front and your palate will never meet, you know, they'll come close or whatever. Um, I'm hopeful, uh, because when I was on the CPAP, which I really didn't tolerate, I'm a mouth breather, so I had to have a full mask. I was a low number, um, although Hella said near the end I was having some breakthrough snoring, so maybe I need a slightly higher number. I was like a 6 or an 8, I don't know. Some people are like 15s or 16s or 20s. But anyways, I'm hopeful that, you know, wow, it would be great if it eliminated sleep apnea and eliminated snoring. I'm not that foolish. I have a kind of 50-50 thing. If it reduces the incidence by 50% and the severity by 50%, I'll be pretty happy about that. Hopefully, Hella will be happy about it, too. Um, uh, but it's, you know, it's disturbing. It disturbs my sleep both ways, you know, unconsciously with the sleep apnea, unconsciously, because, you know, Hella's poking me all the time. So, it's a kind of bad thing. Um... So I'm hopeful that this will this will solve it. Um, but I just want to give those kind of updates, you know. <laughs> I realize I sound kind of slow in my eyes doing this. It's just because I'm freaking tired and I'm not paying attention to my face. If I thought about the fact that I was being um, filmed, I might do something different. Uh, interestingly, this isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to do. Um, this is something Willa does a lot. She'll be kind of intrigued. I'm considering my posting options, you know, just sending it to friends, or how will I do this? Uh, I certainly, I think it's important to get this information out. Um, so, basically, the thing that hurts the most, though, and they said it would, is the tonsillitis. So, uh, tonsillectomy. So, if you get uh, your tonsils out because you have tonsillitis a lot, or whatever, um, adult tonsils, adult tonsillectomies hurt like an order of magnitude more than child tonsillectomies 
because there's just so much more uh, vascularization and they're just more better attached. You know, more nerve endings or something. So when they carve them out, it's a big deal. Um, so I do believe, and here comes the swallow. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm really hoping that that resolves out. And also, see, like a little bit of it goes over the top of my um, palate, you know. So then you want to swallow again to get that stuff off. And what's worse about it is I also have a bit of sinuses. So, and um, my sinuses don't get full and cause pain. They just drip. So I have that issue already, and if it combine this with this thing, oh my gosh, because you get phlegmy. <clears throat> well, anyways, um, I'll keep you updated. Thanks.